Uh, good evening, everyone. This is Ms. Ari, and in today's class, we're going to talk about Wood Dispatch 1854. Let's see the introduction. The East India Company has to take an order from the British government. Uh, after every 20 years, they came for renewal. So there was a, a need for a permanent and comprehensive education policy for India was felt in the year 1853. Since the Chatter Act of 1813, uh, several educational experiments have been tried. A number of agencies have been worked out in their own way to spread education among the people, right? A uh, parliament committee was appointed to survey the educational progress in India, and the suggestion of the committee were favorably considered by the board of directors as Mr. Witt I would say Charles Wood was the chairman of the Board of Control. So the declaration was named after Mr. Wood and it is named as the Woods Education Dispatch and it was a very important place in the history of education in India. This document was of immense historical importance as he declared this education policy on 19 July 1854. It is a long document of 100 paragraph and it mostly deal with several questions of great education importance. And it's like a platform and retrospective glance at the part. So here this Wood Dispatch 1854 was mainly named after Mr. Charles Wood, who was at that time the president or the chairman of the board of control. And he was the one uh, who were there in the committee suggesting many things about uh, bringing about the new education policy in India. And his, su his suggestions were favorably uh, considered by the board of director and therefore uh, they have come up with this policy on 19 July 1854. Uh, let's see the next slide. It's on education policy declared by Wood Dispatch. So let us see one by one uh, the recommendation on the different area. First is administration and finance of education. So the acceptance of educational responsibility. For the very first time, the Wood Dispatch clearly accepted the responsibility of the British government for education in India. Second one, establishment of the Department of Public Instruction. It was declared that the Department of Public Instruction will be established in every province and its highest official will be designated as the Director of Public Instruction and to assist him is the Deputy Director of Education, Inspector and Deputy Inspector of School. Then the third one is grant and aid system. For the first time in this report, it was declared that the financial aid will be given to every educational institution, irrespective of their religious denomination. Provision to sanction this grant on different subjects like building construction, science laboratory, construction, salaries to teachers and scholarship. So in this first part, it's mainly focused on administration and financing educations. Uh, the next we will see the organization of education. As we can see from here from the slide, organization of education at four level, that is primary, middle, high school and high education. They also uh, want to to establish a uh, graded school such as primary, middle, high school, college, and university. When I say graded school, it means they, uh, they, 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 they want to make sure that there is evaluation, there is a proper uh, uh, sy uh, system to function such schools right from the primary, middle, high school, college, and university. The next one is aims of education. According to the dispatch, the aim of education is to develop the intellectual fitness and moral character to raise the living standards of Indians and to increase the demand of British goods in India, right? So the next one is curriculum of education. It was mainly declared that the oriental language and literature was given a due place in the curriculum at the same time encouraged. It was also declared to give special place for Western knowledge and science in the curriculum and limited freedom to religious education. If you remember in the last class when we were discussing about the Macaulay Minutes, there in Macaulay's Minutes, it mainly focused on uh, the Western knowledge, science uh, and literature. But here in this Wood Dispatch, they also extend to their thoughts on uh, giving a due place in the curriculum uh, for the Indian literature and oriental language. Next is medium of education. It, it recognizes the importance of vernacular languages such as Arabic, Persian, and Sanskrit. Native languages and English were accepted as the medium of instruction in primary education. It clearly stated, our desire is to see the rise and growth of all the schools in India. English to be the medium of instruction in higher education. Uh, once again, like in Macaulay's minute, 
Macaulay, he said that the medium of education should be English. Uh, but here in Word Dispatch is different from that. They also uh, said that they they should raise uh, this issue and they have accepted that this vernacular, vernacular languages, Arabic, Persian and Sanskrit should be the accepted as the medium of instruction, especially in the primary education. But but then they have not, not forget to put English to be the medium of instruction in higher education. The next one is teacher. It recommended a better pay skill for teachers to attract a large number of efficient person to this profession. Uh, next we'll see students. Uh, they also make a provision for scholarship, for, especially for the poor and the meritorious students who are who have done well in their school, college, and UC to give them. Uh, a scholarship in order to receive high education at a, any level in any type of school and colleges. Next one is education institutions. They want to establish a different levels of education institution, establishment of vocation school and establishment of university. So they mainly focus on expanding uh, Indian education in, in, in India and also come up with this new idea of uh, expanding and establishing vocational school which is very very important the next one is mass education downward filtration theory hereby stand rejected if those who have attended my class in the last time about uh, the macaulay's minute in macaulay's minutes they have uh, come forward with this downward filtration theory where they said that only uh, educate the elite class and from there the knowledge will pass down from the elite class to the middle class and then to the lower class but then here in word dispatch they reject this downward filtration theory the number of primary and secondary school will be increased scholarship will be given to the poor and meritorious students the adoption of modern indian language as the medium of instruction at the higher sec secondary section and the inclusion of indigenous school as a very foundation of national system of education so here in macaulay's minute they they said that they don't have any fund or money to educate the masses or I mean everyone, but here in Word Dispatch for the very first time they said that everyone deserves to be educated and they try to increase the primary and secondary school every in the, every uh, provinces and every place they were ruling. They also stress on the importance of women education. It was accepted in this education policy that for the development of character and morality among the Indians and their material prosperity, women education is very, very important. It will have a share in the various fields. So initiative made by high class in making arrangement for girls to educate, increased desire to give good education to girls, girls school will be given special grants, individual helps to women education will be encouraged. Bahadur M. Karam Chan donate 20,000 for the cause of setting up two native school for girls in Ahmedabad. So here for the very first times uh, with dispatch uh, stress on the importance of women's educations. They said that in order to bring development uh, of character and morality educating girls or women is very very necessary. The next one is education of Muslim. In this dispatch it was accepted that the expansion of education among Muslim is very much less compared to the Hindu. So special school will be open for the education of Muslim children. Muslim children will be induced towards school for this purposes. The next is also the stress on vocational education, teacher education, and religious education. Let's see first the vocational education. In this dispatch, it was accepted that to end unemployment in India, to provide skilled workers to industries and for all the economic prosperity of the Indians, organization of appropriate vocational education is necessary. Educated person will be provided government job on the basis of their qualification and work efficiency. Here next is teacher education. This is needed for quality education, normal school for the training of teachers and should get certificate after completion and get salary. If teachers are not working, oh, sorry, if teachers are working out of school hours, they should be paid extra payment. Provision of scholarship for the teachers during the training period will be made. The next one is religious education. The dispatch professed the policy of religion neutrality. On the other hand, give freedom to the missionary school to impart a religious education and it was made compulsory for the government school to keep Bible in their libraries as you can see from all this tree like they this dispatch they stress on vocational education teacher education and religious education uh you remember in macaulay's minute he 
or remain neutral when it comes to religious education. But here in Word Dispatch, it's like they also re remain, uh, they try to be neutral on the policy of religion. But on the other hand, they give uh, much freedom to the missionary school to impart religious education in their school. And also they have make a compulsory to keep the Bible in the library. Let's see the merits of Word Dispatch. Through this dispatch, it was recognized to be the duty and responsibility of the government to educate the common people of India. Due to the Woods dispatch, the British Parliament for the first time made an attempt to decide the educational policy in India and give it a legal form. It clearly laid down the aims of education. It put up a scheme of education from primary standard to university level. Wood arranged to get books written in Indian languages. It recognized Indian languages as the medium of education along with English. It increasing the number of high school and colleges. It recognized the need for the development of women education. It provided facilities of scholarship to the poor and meritorious students to enable them to gain education. It recommended for better space skill for the teachers to attract a large number of efficient person to teaching profession. As you can see, there's a lot of merits of Wood Dispatch. Uh, Wood Dispatch, uh, it was really uh, a very uh, important uh, dispatch i would say and it, it has been it has become it has been um working out for the development of the uh, education system in india and they have put forward many recommendations uh, in imparting education in india by not neglecting the indian culture indian literature indian languages so as you can see by your own uh, in the slide that it increased the number of high school and colleges and it recognized the need for the development of women education which is very very important which you have never seen in the chat at 1813 and in mid minute so here you can see the many merits of wood dispatch now let's see the demerits of the dispatch i think uh, every one of us uh, we we will know that uh, we always have the demerits and merits, right? So even the dispatch also, even though they have a lot of merits, they also have demerits. Let's see what are the demerits of the dispatch. The first one, it put the education under the direct control of the government, which ended the traditional free teaching work in the country. Number two, it adopted the London University for the Indian University. Thus, ancient Indian university system was neglected. Number three, according to the dispatch, the person educated on Western line and languages were to be given prior in services. Therefore, the old education institution began to lose their existence. Number four, it concentrated the attention of the people on the Western knowledge, hence Indian literature and knowledge was neglected. Number five, there was neglection of religion, spiritualism, orientalism, and also lack of flexibility in the education system. Number six, it destroyed the system of self-study and meditation. Number seven, the government was spending the major portion in the development and extension of English school. As you can see, even though there are lots of merits, even the dispatch have a demerits because uh, uh, you can see that even though the dispatch they give a liberal to the Indian literature and they try to uh, focus on developing the Indian languages and even encouraging to translate many books for, for, of the Indian literatures to the English and but still there's a neglection in in terms of religion spiritualism and oritanism and there are even though these they said that uh, the medium of instruction should be uh, should be both vernacular and English, but still, uh, as you can see from here, from the debate itself, they try to spend more of their portion in the development and extension of English school. Now let's see the contribution of Wood Dispatch. The Wood Dispatch is the first government declaration in which a complete detail of government's policy and plan on education were presented. It is this dispatch which laid down the foundation of the modern system of education in India. Even if we observe it from the Indian point of view, it has more merits than demerit. Yes, its chief merit lay in declaring the organization of education to be the state responsibility, that is the government responsibility to look into education. Establishment of the Department of Education beginning of the grand aid giving financial aids to the to the 
school, colleges, and university, and establishment of graded school and university were its notable features. The voice of for masses education, which was being neglected during Macaulay's minute, uh, then women's education, vocational, teacher education was also for the first time it raised in this dispatch. The truth is that the foundation of the modern Indian education system was laid in this education policy. In the words of Mr. James, he said that 1854 dispatch is the climax in the history of Indian education. What goes before leads to it and what follows down emanates from it. So James has even called it as the Magna Carta of Indian education. There may be multitude of opinions on the amount of importance given to it, but in the final analysis, one cannot deny that it is very every important. It is a very important dispatch. It is a foundation stone of the modern Indian system of education. Right. So we have come to the conclusion. Uh, it, there's nothing much to say. I will just like to say that Wood Dispatch of 1854 has indeed influenced the later development of Indian education. Actually, it also influenced this National Education Policy 2020. It was an important historical document in, in as much as it began a new era in Indian education. But this Wood Dispatch of 1854, uh, it, it has been considered to be the Magna Carta by Mr. James and he said it is the climax, right? Is the climax of the Indian history. And then uh, this word dispatch, uh, it touches every aspects of uh, human's life, like women's education, Muslim education, religious education, and also uh, trying to encourage the Indian literature, vernacular languages, and bring up uh, the system in such a way that every uh, every every level of education is important so i would say that this wood dispatch of 1854 is indeed uh, of a very uh, good movement by the community led by mr Char charles wood and this wood dispatch of 1854 has indeed influenced the later development of indian education so with this, I would like to thank you for listening to this Word Dispatch. And if you have any problem, you can always text me. You can always ask me and I will be grateful for that. With this now, I would like to say thank you.